Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to view your degree of freedoms within your sketches. Right now on the screen I have a bracket that I haven't extruded and this whole entire part is not dimensioned yet. So the first thing if you want to view your degree of freedom, I'll hover over any segment, I'll right click on it and go down to where it says display degree of freedom and press that. All these arrows are going to pop up to show you all the degree of freedoms that this specific segment has. If you want to finish viewing this degree of freedom, you can right click it, go to where it says display degree of freedom and uncheck that box. And then everything will disappear. One way you can get rid of your degree of freedom is if you start dimensioning all these segments and the circles, then all those arrows when you press display degree of freedom will disappear. So if I highlight this entire object, I can view all the degree of freedoms by right clicking, going to display degree of freedom. If I begin to dimension everything, you're going to slowly see that all these arrows are going to disappear on most of them. So right now the only degree of freedoms I have left are on these circles. Besides dimensioning, another thing I can do is I can use constraints. So if I wanted to constrain this circle so I know that it will not move in any directions, I can go up to my constraint tool and I'm going to choose the fixed. I'm going to zoom in and press the center of this degree of freedom. It's going to light up red and if I press it, the fixed icon is going to come up which means that this cannot move in any XY direction. The arrow right here represents that it can still grow bigger or smaller so if I dimension it, it's going to disappear as well. You could follow the same steps for this circle and get rid of all the degree of freedom so you know that your sketch is not going to be moving around. I hope this video helps you guys out. Thanks!